Hello again, Rebecca here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Mixed Media Frenzy. Here's today's scrap lift that the entire group is going to use as inspiration. So I'm going to pull in my Coco Vanilla Unforgettable collection kit and I'm going to scrapbook that picture of the Redefine Creative design team that I'm on. Whoop, whoop. So I'm sure you've seen some videos by now of my design team layouts. Um, so yeah, so I just wanted to scrap it. I just wanted to scrapbook that photo because this is my first official design team, and I'm super excited about that. I did have this scrap already in the collection, so I just grab a piece of white cardstock and I'm gonna mat it right on the side there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and <clears throat> do some. I do some hand stitching. I don't make you guys watch me do all that, but you will see in just a minute. It's not on there yet, but I wanted to create that scalloped edge. So I did take another full sheet because I don't have any other scraps like I've been using them. And I just go ahead and punch those out. I adhere them underneath the um, pink and then I go ahead and do a cute little diagonal um, stitch. I do put clear gesso on the white side because I find if you put white gesso on white, it, it's not like a true white. I don't know. And then I put white gesso on the pink side so that you'd be able to see the mixed media. And I'm just trying to recreate the um, greeny, teely, light bluish color that is in the collection. Not really sure what you want to call that. And it'll be in the flowers. So... I just do my color wash and yeah, I, you know, it, it looks like a hot mess. My white gesso for some reason, um, it's a Vicky Booten and it's like, it repels the color. I don't know if you guys are noticing that, but yeah, it's, and it's dry. So, and I was having some problems with my Heidi Swap, uh, color shine there. Some of them weren't, they weren't wanting to, um, squirt, but I'm using the patina and I don't know what the other color is. Uh, I can look, hold on. I don't know why I told you to hold on. I just paused the recording and went ahead and looked. It's the patina color and the sweet mint. And I'm just going to load it up on there. And I just do my little wash that I've been in love with lately. However, I think this look could have been achieved a lot better had I used, like, the packaging technique. So I'm going to try that. Um, but I do go ahead and pick up some of that excess and just do some splatty bits around. Now, my picture is a lot bigger than the one that is in the um, scrap lift. I do cut it down just a smidge, but I'm going to go ahead and back it on some black so that, you know, it, the black backing, the backing it in the black cardstock, wow, words are hard, is going to, it actually brings the picture out a lot because there's a lot of black in the picture and it's going to make it pop up off this very fun, colorful background that I've got going on. It's not really colorful, it's just a big mess. And it does look like a big hot mess, right? It's completely dry, but it's shimmery. It's mostly going to get covered up, guys. I'm I'm not going to lie. You're just going to see a bit peeking out. And yes, I used to think, well, wow, that's like a big waste of um, product, right? But you're not going to be able to achieve the look unless you, you kind of work with it. So you can't be afraid to cover it up. But it was several layers. I didn't make you watch me do that. But it was. it took me about four or five different layers and letting it dry in between. <clears throat> and then continuously adding more and more and more and more to achieve the look that I was like, I'm good with, I like it. Um, I am gonna go ahead and come in right here with these two cardstock scraps that I had sitting on my desk. And I did notice in the scrap lift that there are several wonky um, layers behind the photo. You guys know Missy Witten likes to do that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use the cardstock to achieve that just to give a couple more of the looks and the blue is like crazy and it doesn't really match, but I was okay with it. And I just, you know, adhere it right on. I do turn my picture upside down so I make sure to get the other angle looking okay. And see, it's gonna cover up most of that right there in the middle. Now, even though I did put the gesso on the top, like where it seeped up underneath those half circles that create my cute little scallop border, yeah, the back of the page, yeah, it's like crazy. Now I'm going to come in with one more layer because I thought it needed, you know, I was losing the gray and the blue color, which I believe is like a soft, soft sky or something like that. So I'm just going to put one more layer there and we're just going to do it in black. And I do use dry adhesive and my wet adhesive. And you guys know that's because when there's gesso and mixed media, the uh, ATG does not 
want to stick to it like nothing does so I'm gonna go ahead and go through my packs now I had all intention of pulling in some sequins and some enamel dots but if you just seen I just set them on the shelf right above me yeah I totally forgot so I just went through that pack real quick and pulled out all the flower bits and I used them all but one so I decide and I'm gonna do the same thing I'm you know liquid glue I'm gonna slide this to the left of the picture and I'm gonna futz with it for just a minute until I get it the way I like it and then you'll see there's just a smidge of the mixed media showing so I'm like super happy with that side now because the monstrosity is gone and then I'm gonna come in and I'm going to start gluing the rest of these flowers down and I'm gonna layer them in and out and I'm going to pull in I'm I finally grabbed my massive roll of foam tape that I picked up and man that is like it is super super sticky and it is so so sticky that it is like almost impossible to get the back all the backing off of it so like I have to like you I don't even show that I'm just gonna like, cut away because it was like it was taking me like a minute or more to get the little backing off of that so this is not it this was I was gonna use this but this stuff is like this is like for a shaker pocket super super dimensional so I did put just a couple of them with this but yeah I didn't want it that dimensional but I do have a couple that are super dimensional but yeah, I'm, see, I'm struggling with this. The super roll was even worse. So um, the next layout that I had done, <laughs> I just grabbed my pin blade and I started doing it that way. And I realized that, yeah, that was like the only way to go because trying to do it, and I have fingernails, so I don't really know. I don't actually know if it was, you know, I don't know how to fix that. But yeah, I'm like, dang it. And I had heard that from someone else. Um not gonna mention any names but yeah that it was like super impossible to get backing off and they thought it was because they didn't have any fingernails so I thought I was pretty much golden because I do well, yeah well that didn't happen so I do want to remind you that today is the mixed media frenzy hop and I will have listed down below my lovely friends that play along every week on Fridays um, in the little group and I believe in a couple weeks, we're going to do another hop. We're going to do the March hop on uh, March 26th. So if you guys would like to play along, just drop me a line down below and I will send you the link to the Facebook group. And you can totally play along if you have a YouTube channel or Instagram or you can just play along regardless. So while I've been yammering away about non non-existing things, I go ahead and get my title on which is going to be good life stories I throw in a living the dream because being on a design team was kind of my dream I'm gonna stick in some black hearts I get that camera on and some leafy bits and I am loving this so my video is quickly coming to an end do not forget to check out my friends down below give me a thumbs up if you like the video and click that subscribe button if you haven't already I'll see you tomorrow bye